Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, good evening, Rabbi Ted. This is so funny because I was just, I had this question and I was just thinking to myself, oh, I'd love to be able to talk to Rabbi Shastav about this. And Now you are. So, thank you so much for having me on. You manifested. <laughs> now I am. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes. Thank you. So, okay. um, thank you so much. So, Thank you. So, so the the question is the case of the uh, the golden grandchild, if you will. So um, interesting. Uh, my uh, my and, and it's a question I have. So my husband and I, um, we uh, are only children. Uh, so our children, uh, thank God, we have a little boy and a little girl. Boy is three and a half. Uh, the only, so the only, so the owner. Only- that the grandparents have. Wait, so you're, you're, you have That's a boy and a girl. Your boy is three, and your girl is how old? A little over a year and a half. Okay, okay. So both little kids, very little kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, both little kids. And you know, my, uh, you know, my, my mother-in-law is uh, the type that uh, you know, my husband and uh, you know has uh, walked on eggshells around her, you know, his whole life since he's a little little kid. You know, I'm, I'm observing this, even to you know certain things that are that are unconscious that you know that I, I personally observe. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a similar thing with with my my own mother, and I think that's the reason that you know he and I <laughs> understand mm-hmm. one another and get along well. But mm-hmm. <laughs> I I believe that uh, I believe that for myself, certain things are more in the conscious realm, and he's you know not not things aren't fully conscious for him about that yet, but it's been a little bit mothers progress in that direction. Mothers and daughters are very different than mothers and sons. And very often... Yeah. Yeah. So you are both only children. Mm-hmm. And when you're an only mm-hmm. child of a parent who's emotionally needy, you become literally mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. to your parent. Mm-hmm. You become mm-hmm. everything. You mm-hmm. literally get worshipped as a god. Um, or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you become the devil. And sometimes, you know, both yep. one from one minute to the yep. next. Yep. Depends. Yep. Yeah, it depends. On the situation. Yeah. And, but here's yep. the deal. Mothers and daughters are different than sons and, 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 and mothers because a daughter eventually kind of sees this for what it is in the same sex parent, mm-hmm. the daughter and the mother. So she kind of realizes, hey, like, I am not the main character in your life. <laughs> That's not, that can't <laughs> be. Right. That can't <laughs> be, right? Mm-hmm. Sons and mothers, uh, it's a little bit trickier because a little boy does believe, he is led to believe that he has this importance and it can be really difficult, like extremely difficult to be told, um, you don't have to cater to that anymore. Well, what do you mean? I don't have to cater to it. Of course I do. Yeah. Of course I do. And I should tell her to jump off a bridge. I'm so scared. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I'm talking to be, I'm, I'm so scared that it's happening to my little son, which is, oh, you know, I see that's it. That's the golden you know, grandchild. What? Yes. Yes. Okay. And, uh, and we both see it. And, uh, you know, since, uh, you know, since, since he's a baby and, you know, she, you know, she decided this is her, her, her heaven. This is her, her, her one and only. And, and originally when we see each other first, he, he hides with me. He doesn't want to go. And then, you know, he has to, and then, well, cause you know, they, they come and visit every week. And then, uh, and then now it's, you know, he he pushes mommy and daddy away, and he cries that he doesn't want this, and he only cries for 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 grandma. And it's and he, you know, doesn't follow our rule. And he just it's just it really splits, and he he cha- mm. You know, he's he's a little boy; he can't help it. But I'm just so scared about the long term effect of that. <laughs> and uh, you know, I mean, I think it's good that you know we're we're, we're you know parent. We're not. It's not his parents. But it's it's his grandparents, and it's a very strong force. And and you know my well, my you know husband is not willing. <clears throat> you know we have to you know respect our parents. You know they want to come visit. You know as frequently as whatever. We're not going to you know interfere with that so much. But it, it's it's 
it's so frequent and I, I just see such a change in his behavior and, and I, I'm, I'm a sensitive person. I, I, know, I know where that feeling is coming from, but he has to cater to those whims to get that response. And, and I just don't want him to grow up having this imprinted codependency model from his grandma and how that's going to shape his, his future relationships with women. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> no, you're 100% correct. Yep. You're 100% correct. And, and <laughs> the fact that you're saying it so bluntly, like, I, I'm totally with you, by the way. Like, I love how you're saying yep. just very, very flat out, like, this will shape his future relationships yep. with women. You're 100% correct. Of course it will. Yep. Of course it will. Okay. Yep. Um, so, you know, the, the question is, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I know the answer to this already, but, I, I, you know, I have to do due diligence here. <laughs> right. right. Is, is, is there enough self-awareness? <laughs> I'm afraid I know the answer already, but is there enough, is there enough self-awareness that your mother-in-law can tone it down? I, I, in fact, I tried to venture into that a little bit today. Admittedly, I was not in the best mood, and then I got a little bit of that from her. I think if there, there's been a, a, teen, a teeny sliver, but not not a, a teeny sliver of like, oh, I'm being an over the top grandma. I should tone it down. But uh, you know, not not like uh, what what I would call a, a, a true self awareness. You know, um, I think it's still her uh, her modus operandi. And uh, and need I <laughs> perhaps it goes without saying that the uh, the the dynamic is not the same towards her granddaughter. <laughs> of course not. Of course not, because it doesn't fulfill that need not. for her. And, uh, which is what makes the whole thing so suspect. You know, it's like you can say that the yeah. your son is three, so he's cute. He talks, he does stuff, and your daughter is one and a half, so she doesn't even do anything. But <laughs> still. It, you know, no, it's not. It's, it's not, but that's yeah. not what it is. It's, it's. She likes this little boy, and I'm not saying anything. I just want everyone yep. to understand. You and I both know we're not saying anything creepy. Right. It doesn't have to be creepy right. to be unhealthy. Um. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and my husband said. My husband said too. He's like, I don't think that their dynamic is health healthy. My. Husband. Yeah. And um. And so I guess my question is, you know, do, do I have hope that, you know, just by virtue of being his mom myself, you know, will I be able to mitigate that somewhat that, you know, okay, I'm probably not going to be able to, you know, inter, quote unquote, interfere or, or block that relationship or, you know, questions if I should, whatever, that's not on the page right now, but will I be able to being different rather than that's, you know, the only... <sighs> Role model. Yeah. Well, <sighs> the, the answer is yes, because you mm -hmm. ultimately are the parent, and there's a special connection spiritually that a child has to a parent. Um, they have also yeah. to a grandparent, but a, a, the parent-child connection is much more direct, obviously, not just biologically, but spiritually. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you mm -hmm. do have a greater influence. The the question is how strategic you can be in wielding that influence. And and I think you're going to have to be very mindful about I mean parent parenting also always always has to be mindful. There always has to be a game plan uh, where we're taking to account mm -hmm. a unique every child's unique situation and their development and their challenges. Um in this particular case yeah, so let's talk about the personality traits that we want to make sure that your son has. Instead of saying mm -hmm. negative, like, I don't want him to be a clingy uh, codependent with uh, an Oedipus complex. Right. Um, right. Right. Let's <laughs> say the positive. What's the target? You know, how, because right. you, you're raising him. How are you going to raise him? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You want him to have, yes, humility, you're a Shemayim, and the sense that, you know, I have to, you know, maybe it doesn't come when he's three, but when he's older, but, you know, I have, you know, certain ways that I'm going to 
behave, you know, to the best of my certain responsibilities, to the best of my ability, regardless of, you know, whatever someone else's expectations are around, you know, that those are my response. That's my character. That's, you know, how I choose to behave because of who I am as a yid and so forth and not because mm-hmm. of someone's manipulation. Right. One day. So, so what you're saying is you want him to be a person who is able to be his own person, make choices and not be concerned what people think. Yeah. And obviously, <laughs> when we're saying make good choices, we believe in a God-given absolute morality, which is the sole arbiter of what good choices mean. And I'm filling that in, not for you, but for the other people listening, just so that they know that that's what we mean. Okay, yeah. so that's the target. That's really how you're going to um, how you're going to raise him to be somebody who yes. is not a people pleaser. Well, I said, I don't want to say the negative. I want to say the positive. But to be somebody right. who is um, what, what, let's use a, let's come up with a couple positive words to describe it. A couple positive um, words for the character yeah. traits. A word or two. Not yeah. long sentences. Because it loses its potency right. when it's a lot of words. What are the traits? He's um, self-directed, I guess. Yeah. Self-direction, self-directed. Um, self, self-sure. Yeah. You know, co- confident. Um, confident, yeah. Confident. Um, this is a long phrase, you know, but I, I, I like the concept of emotionally autonomous. Meaning yes. my emotional, emotional state autonomy. is not a reaction to other people or or things. Yes. Yeah. So that's going to be the focus. And and let me let me tell you this, not to comfort you, although I think it will be slightly comforting, that mm-hmm. Hashem knows what he's doing, and he places resistance <laughs> in people's lives yeah. for a reason. So it's not like yep. this challenge is random this challenge is Mm -hmm. calling your attention to something Mm -hmm. that you're going to be very mindful about in raising your son so we'll welcome it as a Mm -hmm. as a reminder yeah yeah yeah, it's a big uh, direction it's no I, i definitely have a clear sense of uh a lot of different things that I have to, a lot of factors to be able to do that. And that's going to be a, a long-term uh, project. <laughs> yeah, well, parenting is a long-term yeah. project, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, and, amazing. Uh, Lots right. of nachas from both that your kids. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rabbi Tav. My pleasure. Thank okay. You. All right. Hey, this is Chase Taub. You were just watching a clip from this class. If you want to get the full context, the full class, that this clip that you just watched was from, you watch right here. Click right here.